Hello and welcome to this video lecture on the use of formulas across multiple Excel worksheets. When entering formulas across multiple worksheets in Excel, the cell reference will change from the usual basic column and row address to include also the sheet name. So the worksheet sheet name will appear in front of an exclamation point before the column row cell reference. You can also see these as what are known as 3D cell references. This is consolidating information between a range of worksheets where you're actually referencing the exact same cell on multiple worksheets. In this case, sheet name is replaced by worksheet range, where worksheet range represents the first sheet name followed by a colon followed by the last sheet name. And so all worksheets within the group, beginning with the first one, ending with the last one, will be included in the calculation. We have a summary worksheet. This is intended to add up all of the data from each of the quarters. We're first going to pull forward the total for lawnmower expenses from quarter one. We do this by going to the cell where we want our result to appear, in this case cell B6 in our summary worksheet, typing in equals, clicking then on quarter one tab, in this case, we want to bring back the total in cell E6. Now we can either press the Enter key on the keyboard or use the Enter check mark. When we come back, we see that we have pulled back that $15,000 and we see here on the formula bar equals quarter one exclamation E6. We do have single quote marks around quarter one because the quarter one tab name or worksheet name has a blank space in it. If it did not have a blank space in it, there would be no need for the single quote marks, but that's the reason why there is single quotes displayed. Now we're going to do the same type of thing on quarter two, so we're simply going equals quarter two, pull back lawnmower total from E6, and again you can see our formula there on the formula bar. We're going to do it for quarter three. And for quarter four. The last three quarters had no lawnmower expense, so there's nothing brought forward. Now that we have those in, we're going to go ahead and copy those down. We needed to, we had to do each of the quarters individually in order to not edit our formulas because they each represent different worksheets. Now that we have them in place, we can replicate our formulas using the autofill. We're going to do this without fill, without formatting, so that we don't lose any of our formatting. And now you can see that each of these has been brought forward. So the 17,150 from quarter one is displaying, quarter two, 5,350, and so on. That's a very quick and easy way to do just a basic pulling forward of data. The beauty is when we find we have left out an expense or entered an expense in error, say in quarter three, perhaps this September expense for oil was actually $60. Now when we go to summary, that change is immediately reflected here because of the linkages. Next, let's look at how to create that 3D linkage. So here in F6, we're going to create a t formula that will sum up the total from each of the quarters all together. Instead of it summing across here where it just sums from B6 through E6, we're going to make it go to each of our quarterly worksheets and pull forward. We do that simply by putting starting our auto sum, so equals sum, open parenthesis. 
Now we select our first worksheet that we want in this group, hold down our Shift key, click on the last worksheet in the group, which in this case is quarter four, let go of our Shift key, and select the actual cell reference we want to pull into the summary on each of those. When we have that in place, press Enter or click Enter, and your formula comes forward. And when you look at the formula here, you see that we are showing quarter one through quarter four as part of our group. Again, we have the single quote mark around it because we have blank spaces in our worksheet name. And they're pulling and summing up E6 from each of those four worksheets. Once we have that in place, we'll replicate it down as well. Again, fill without formatting so we don't lose any of our formatting. And here's our completed summary worksheet demonstrating the use of the linked formula where we're pulling data forward in these cells and that 3D formula here in these total cells.